Y'all, Will, <laughs> Will just, he gives me so much joy. It's only a game. It's a game. No, it's not. It means that they love him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jesse. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me, reviewing uh, Love at, no, I was gonna say Love at First Sight, Love Island, season nine, episode 21. And for some of you guys who's wondering how the numbering is going, for people who watch the videos late, if I skip numbers for like the unseen bits, I get a bunch of messages asking, where's this episode? What happened to this episode? I don't wanna deal with that. That's number one. Number two, it doesn't have to do with that, but tomorrow I am going to my friend's movie premiere so you will not get a video. It might be late in the night for me, early morning for the people in the UK or the next day. Sorry, okay. Before I get into it, please make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. Of course, Claudia has entered the villa and I mean, Casey was enthralled by the dance, that's for sure. And I personally think that's about it. I'm gonna save my comments though, because I already said what I needed to say yesterday. <laughs> As for the results, Kai's heart was raised by Alana, Tom by Olivia, Will by Jesse, Jordan by Ellie, Ron by Claudia, Shaq by Tanya and Casey by Claudia. For the women, the results were Jesse's heart was raised the most by Casey, Tanya by Tom, <laughs> Sammy by Will, Ellie by Shaq, Olivia by Will, Danielle by Ron, and Lana by Casey. I don't really, I don't really know what they were trying to do there with the whole Ron and Claudia thing. I think they were trying to stir things up. I highly doubt his heart rate was raised the most by, by Claudia. I don't see that happening. Even Tanyelle's heart being raised the most by Ron. I'm like, I feel like again, they're trying to stir things up, but it's fine, whatever. This challenge didn't do the ripples that it normally does. So it kind of was a flop, but it was fun to see. Anyways, after the challenge, Casey and Claudia get to talking and you know, there's a little bit of a vibe between them. Have you got your eye on anyone? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, but I'll be telling, I'm not gonna give it away straight away. Love works in mysterious ways and I feel like as one door shuts, another door opens. She says she's looking for a genuine guy and she may have found him in Casey. However, Casey makes it a point to say he recognizes her as a famous person's daughter. I would rather they address it than what they did last year, gaslighting us, making it seem like we didn't know who Gemma's father, I mean, I didn't know who Gemma's father was, but y'all knew who the father was and like the house didn't know who the dad was, like, please. You know what I mean? So I'm glad they got it out of the way, but because it was Casey who brought it up and then told Tom, and then those are the two people who are kind of pursuing her, it feels to me that there could potentially be an ulterior motive, but I do think Casey would be a good option for her to pursue. He is a nice guy so far. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Also, she's 28. And I think the oldest guy is 28, but that's Jordan, he's not interested. The next oldest guy is Casey, who's 26. Everybody is younger than that. So I don't know how successful she's gonna, maybe you should have gone on Married at First Sight, girl. Tanyelle and Jordan have a conversation and realize that they have a lot more similarities than they initially thought. Like, it's so weird because Kind of I would say I'm spontaneous, but at the same time, I don't like change. It's not strange, because I get what you're saying. Yeah. Why do I get what you're saying? Because... We're the same. Bloody hell. Damn. But it's not good to overthink. Like, it's not good because you manifest things. Like, we worry... Too, I think we worry too much. I feel like he's lacking that cheekiness. I am a slow burner, but um, I feel like I would have known by now. She's still not interested, right? Let's make this clear before I read Shaq for filth, she's still not interested and has made that very clear. Maybe not to Jordan, but she hasn't led him on to say, oh, wow, I really like you. I really want to pursue you. Like, no. Her only um, hang up is that he doesn't have that cheeky banter that she's used to, but she likes his personality. She acknowledges that she's a slow burn and she might need time to build a connection with this man. He's not her type. I don't think she's his either, to be honest with you. Like, I didn't see him beeline for her. I saw him beeline for other women when he came off the date, but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, I just, I just, I'm, I'm just like, 
I don't understand where where the confusion was coming from later on in the episode because she's made it clear that it's not quite there, but she's going to give it a try. That's all you can do. Claudia goes on dates with Tom and Casey. The date with Tom, it wasn't bad, you know. I think a few women's boys are a bit like, wow. Stirred the pot a little bit. Yeah. Almost like the Northern Charm. I feel like it's you're nice very similar Northern. to me. Yeah. Um, I feel like you're very warm in. Three, two, one. You had it? <laughs> <laughs> Tom was doing so great until now because I Tom likes who likes him. If you like Tom, Tom likes you back. I don't even think he's truly interested in this girl, but because she's showing interest, he's like, yeah, I'm intrigued. I could see something happening here. And he's just a vibey guy. So of course, a woman who has any like slight attraction to him, if she has a conversation with him, she's probably gonna be like, oh, well, I do like him. His other connection, Sammy is back of the villa, just kind of like um, realizing that distance does kind of make the heart grow fonder. He's so lovely. He's so nice. He whispered in my ear, he was like, you'll be fine. Oh, that's good that he gave yeah, you that yeah, reassurance. Yeah. 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 It has made me evaluate how I feel about him a little bit, I reckon. What about Tom are we not seeing? Because everybody in this villa and the people outside of the villa swear up and down down that this man is so mature and he's so sweet i i do not see it i don't i see the potential of that i see it a little bit here and there when he talks to sammy um prior to this episode but yeah i'm just like wow the producers are working overtime to paint this guy as the villain but also they got to have that material to make that storyline work so i'm not buying the sweetheart story Claudia's date with Casey was also kind of the same as her date with Tom. It's just kind of vibey, not any like super strong interest, but Casey is interested. You've got a great taste in men, for one. How do I? Yeah, you do. Okay. Um, like, I think I'm looking for someone just to match my energy. I feel like I'm a very- You've got such good energy. <laughs> I love that, like you got a good aura about you. Yeah. Like, I, just, I feel like I have to see that straight away. Yeah. I want Casey to have a proper try in this villa. I think Claudia is his best bet at having some kind of connection. I just don't see it long-term. And if they do last long-term, I'm so sorry. I feel like it's gonna be opportunistic. That's just what I feel in my gut. I know Casey's a good guy. Everybody loves Casey. Literally, everybody loves Casey. In the villa, too. Like, this man already has handshakes with people, and he's very in good with the guys. So much so that yesterday's episode, Ron wanted to make things good with Casey so that he's back in good graces with the guys. Like, Casey really has a strong impression on this house. So, yeah. I don't think he's fully into her the way that he's presenting, but time will tell. Shaq seems to think that Olivia <laughs> is the Oracle. And he talks to her about Tanyelle wondering what's the deal with Tanyelle and Jordan. I don't think she's attracted to him. Is it? No. Do you? I don't know. But did she not do that suspense too? That's what I... But <laughs> <laughs> um... I never, I didn't get the whole, the whole Tanyelle and Spencer thing. No, me I didn't make, That doesn't make sense, doesn't it? No. no. I'm a bit more wary now maybe her behavior with guys. Mm. Shaq, your stock is dropping. Your stock is drop. Shaq, I just, oh. he is in a lot of people's business, but the whole, like that's what the villa does in general. So like, I can't fully be mad at him for that. But again, what has Tanyelle said that has been leading Jordan on to believe there's more there than what there actually is? So the fact that they're talking about Tanyelle in this way, being sh shady boots, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like, she's not leading the man on. I don't understand where the confusion is. Like, <sighs> Shark, you're gonna align with olive oil for real? <sniffs> hmm. Shaq and Tanya then take Jordan aside, basically to let him know, mm, maybe you could spread your interest elsewhere. When she came back from your first date, she was like, he's nice, he's easy to talk to, he's straightforward, I like how confident he is, all this nice stuff, but it was very generic. It's still the same, every time we ask it, it's the same thing. Yes. There's no one in here that she likes. If I was putting in effort for a girl and she wasn't all the way there, that she wasn't there like feeling me wise, I would want you to tell me. I don't think they were wrong to tell him that maybe he should cast his net wide, but I don't appreciate how they're not talking to Tanyelle about Tanyelle going to tell him that maybe it's just not there for them. Like, why is that your prerogative? 
Hmm. Why was that your job? I'm like, mm mm. Cause, man, Tanya and Shaq, they're dropping in stock for me. When it comes to like interpersonal relationships, they're dropping in stock. I like what they got going on between each other. But yeah, they're failing me, man. They are failing me. And what, Shaq, you mean to tell me you can call out Tanya for being sus and you don't feel that way about Olivia? Your judgment is off. Uh, quickly talking about Tanyelle, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, she shares that the banter is just not there. And um, what else? Yeah, but the personality, she likes his personality. That's what she typically go for. And it makes sense. Like even with Spencer, when she was gravitating towards him, he had that calm personality that she is saying is a good yin and yang to what she's got going on. Like, I don't understand the confusion with the women. And I do think that if Spencer did stay, something could have sparked between them. It might not have been like this super fire reconnection, but it would have been something. And let's not act like it's out of the realm of possibility for somebody to not find their match in here. You know what I mean? It happens. It happens. And if we're to talk about the guys that she's liked in the past in this villa, Kai also had a very calm demeanor. Kai has a boring personality. So did Spencer. So does Jordan. Like to me, it's kind of on brand. Anyways, on to Tom. Tom talks to Sammy. <laughs> and this is like what? The third or fourth time that he has told a woman to basically step up. Claudia is like man type that I'd go from the outside. Cool guys. But then types don't mean much. If I have a connection with someone, then that, that blows it all out the window. I do see something with you. But for me to kind of maybe go any further, I would just need to see that a little bit more. You're probably more of a slow burner. Like, I normally am on the outside, but you're in here once. Yeah. And I want to find someone. No, Tom, we need more from you. We need more from you. This... <laughs> Tom does not like putting in work whatsoever. You must be ready to bend over backwards to win Tom. And honestly, even that might not do it. <sighs> At the end of the episode, the villa gets a text that there is a recoupling and the woman not picked will be dumped. See you later, Ellie. I just, I don't think Jordan will pick her. I think Jordan will pick Tanyelle. Even given the information that he was just given, I think he'll pick Tanyal, so I don't see Ellie staying. Sayonara, girl. It was, I was about to say it was fun, but was it? I don't think so. As always, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.